Well, hello and welcome uh, to today's video. Uh, today I'm going to look at a uh, software by the name zoom.ai that I found quite impressive for creating your zoom backgrounds whenever you're in a zoom meeting uh, and you really don't have your room organized so this is one way that you can use to really organize yourself up. So once you've signed up uh, it's going to of course if you've not signed up you're going to be prompted to have a uh, for you to sign up using your email address and create a password and then this is the window that is going to open this is how the website looks like so it asks you uh, asks you to select a location so let's say you want to have it in a office then it asks for a, uh, for you to select a vibe so you ask to select a vibe right here you can either have it realistic uh, cybernetic steampunk vaporwave 1990s 80s or post-apocalyptic mm, i'm really curious to see what this is all about so i'll click on that and then i'll choose a lighting soft lighting and then let's see we write we type in post-apocalyptic post-apocalyptic decor with ample lighting and plants just curious to see what kind of an image it could and before i proceed uh, it gives you the first five images for free then from there you'll have to uh, upgrade your package so let me see it says AI magic in progress. So let's wait and see. This is the first photo that it uh, gave me. I had uh, give it. I give it an office background with a cybernetic. So this is how the realistic. I mean the realistic uh, post post apocalyptic kind of background it produces. It's really ugly, guys. I don't like it. I don't know what your thoughts are with this thing, so let's try another one. So let me go with a living room or maybe bedroom. Then I'll take a cyberpunk and then choose a lighting studio or natural. Let me go natural and then. Ah, let me go with colorful lighting and then let me just see modern modern decor with ample lighting and plants and let's see the colors should be neutral colors should be neutral so if we give it that command, let's see what um, background it's going to give me. Oh, this is much better. Wow, I love it. So yeah, that's it for zoom.ai. If you really, really <laughs> need a background badly and you want to look cool on your meetings, this is one website that you could use so it you can either buy more images let's just click and see how much it goes for so for 100 images it's uh, ten dollars and then 30 images it's five dollars i think anytime i would go with this 30 images which is 17 cents per image so at the bonus they say all paying users can download any of the hundreds of gallery images for free and use them with zoom more images being added every day so to download your image what uh, you'll be required to do is right click on the image so i'll right click sorry just right click on the image and then save image as and then you can just choose to write any word zoom and just save it as zoom uh, office background 
interface background. So whenever you need to access the background and use it on Zoom, you just click on your Zoom, open up your Zoom application. So in case you need to upload your images uh, to your Zoom meetings, uh, once you've downloaded it, so what you do, you just come to go to your Zoom application, open it. So for me, it indicates that I have a, I had tried opening a Zoom meeting just for illustration and then click on start video. And then just right click on this and choose a virtual background. And then because Zoom already has its own, it has like uh, six of them, the blur, the San Francisco, the grass and what have you. Just click on add image or video and then click on add image. Then just go to your files, wherever it is that you had uh, saved your images, then choose the image and click on open. So once you click on that, uh, your video is going to show up here so yeah so that's it for this video guys i hope uh you'll find it uh that's it for this video guys kindly if you haven't subscribed head down on the subscribe button kindly click on the subscribe button give this video a thumbs up as it helps the channel grow and reach out to more people thank you